Hi beauties, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Jenny Beauty, and today I'm going to be testing out a foundation that I've never tried before, but it's been around for a really long time, and it's pretty much a cult favorite. So if you'd like to see what I think of this foundation, please just keep on watching. So as you might have guessed from the title, I'm going to be trying out the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And as I said, I have not tried this and I'm super excited because I know it's like a huge celebrity makeup artist go-to foundation and all the celebrities love it. So I'm excited to see how it looks on my skin. So I just went ahead and purchased the small bottle because it is, I think, about $20 less and I figured why buy the full bottle. It's going to go bad before I use it all anyways. Um, so yeah, I got the shade number 5 and this is what the small bottle looks like. It comes with a little cap and a pump. So yeah. So yeah, let's just go ahead and apply the foundation. I'm going to use a damp sponge just because that's how I always prefer to apply my foundations. I don't like using brushes so I'm not even going to try it with a brush. But I will say um, that I did prime with my professional primer. Alright, so I just pulled up the information about it on Sephora. Um, so for the large bottle, which is one fluid ounce, it is $64. And for the smaller bottle that I got, it comes with 0.6 ounces and it's $42. And then the color 5 that I bought is described as a light to medium with a neutral undertone. It's a lightweight liquid foundation that achieves a radiant silky finish. And it's an award-winning foundation and it's formulated with microfill technology producing a low density product that pairs high impact pigments with weightless texture. Inspired by the silk shantung worn by kings and emperors, this foundation glides seamlessly onto the skin leaving a finish that's reminiscent of Charmeau's silk. So on here it doesn't really say whether it's like a full coverage, a light coverage, a medium coverage. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be medium, but we shall see. And it has 4.2 out of 5 stars on the Sephora website. Looks like they have 24 shades. And then on the mini sizes, it looks like there's not really any dark skin shades on the mini size. So if you have a darker skin tone, you're going to be stuck with getting the $64 full size. Um, at least on Sephora's website. I guess I don't know about the Armani website. So Alright, so this is one layer of the foundation. Uh, the color is not quite right for me. It's a tad light and also a little cool tone for my skin. Uh, I feel like it looks worse on camera than in person, but it is definitely like not quite as warm as my neck. And I got a little scared out of getting warm tones because sometimes the yellow undertone is like really, really yellow for my more fair skin. In the summer, I can get away with the really yellows, but in the winter when I'm more fair, I kind of like to go more for a neutral undertone. And I did see something about that in the reviews after I purchased it. I saw that they tend to be more on the cool side. So if you are warmer, I would go with the warm undertone. But anyways, here's what it looks like with one layer. I would say it's a medium coverage. I had a couple pimples down here and they're pretty, I mean you can still see them, but they're pretty well covered up. So let me just zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. The first thing that I'm noticing is down here on my chin, I always tend to get a little bit of cakiness in there and that's like what I always try to avoid when I'm trying foundations. And then around my nose, I can see just a little bit of clinging. So those are my dry spots. But otherwise, I feel like it looks pretty skin-like. And the coverage, I need more. <laughs> Alright, so that first layer, I pumped out two pumps. So I'm just going to build it up with one pump this time. I'm noticing I can still see the pimples pretty well, so I'm just going to add a little bit more just right around that pimple area. Alright, so here it is with two layers. I would say it's still not like full, full coverage, but it did build up pretty well. So let me just zoom you in so you can see what it looks like with two layers. 
right, so I don't know if you can tell, but it seems to be clinging right around my nose and on those little pimples and in that chin groove. It's weird because this is made to be luminous, so it's kind of directed for dry skin, but it seems like it's kind of building up on my dryness. And actually, the finish is like not that luminous. It's it's more of a satiny kind of finish, which is totally fine. But I'm just kind of surprised. Okay, so just touching my face, it's still drying, um, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be tacky once it once it settles in. So far, I'm not really as impressed as I had hoped to be, um, but let me just apply the rest of my makeup on top, and then I will come back and let you know how everything applied on top of it. So, catch you in a minute, looking a little different. Alright guys, so I just finished applying the rest of my makeup, so here's what it looks like with everything on top. Um, I forgot to mention what time it was when I first applied the makeup, but right now it is 2 o'clock. So I'd say I probably applied it at 1.30. Let's go with 1.30. Alright, so anyways, um, when I feel my face, I mean it really feels so soft and smooth, which is nice, but it's hard to know whether that's the powder or the foundation. So... Not really sure there, but let me zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. Oops. Alright, so I don't know if you can tell, but still it just looks a little bit cakey right here around the nose. And then my smile lines are getting a little sunk into. And then these pimples, it's just like clinging to the pimples. Still kind of clinging in that butt crack but my forehead lines aren't really being sunk in too and it does feel really nice and smooth um, I don't think it necessarily looks like skin but it's not heavy or anything like that so I can appreciate that alright so as far as applying everything on top of it um, I felt like I had to work a little bit harder getting everything to blend out and it seems like it made stuff go on like more pigmented than it normally would if that makes sense um, but I feel like it looks pretty good everything layered up pretty nicely so I'm not mad at it but it did just take a little longer to like blend everything out so right now I'm not like fully loving it but I don't hate it so let me just go about my day and then I will check in in a little while and kind of let you know how I'm feeling about it then, how it's wearing, and give you a look at it then. So I will be back soon. Alright guys, so I'm back and it is 8.16 so it is coming up on the 7 hour mark of having this foundation on. I have literally not touched my face, I haven't blotted, I haven't powdered nothing since last time I spoke with you so honestly I've just been like super itchy right around my nose and then down on my chin everywhere that the foundation seems to be clinging to dryness has been really itchy and I don't know how this foundation is worth $64 like it's worse than my L'Oreal Pro Glow like I don't understand but let me just zoom you in so you can like, get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I've been scratching around my nose, so there's probably a little redness there because it's making me so itchy. And then also down here, but like look at these two spots. They are just, it's so clingy on those spots. And my pores don't look good. My skin doesn't really look good. It's going into my smile lines forehead is shiny. I don't understand. Alright, so there you have it. I really just want to take off this foundation at this point. It's making my face so itchy. I feel like I'm probably going to have breakouts tomorrow. I just don't understand the hype around this foundation. I haven't heard anything about it in a while. 
and the Dior foundation I tried a couple weeks ago was so much better than this like literally not even close in comparison and it costs less so I just I don't get it but I really don't like this foundation it is going straight back to Sephora and it's gonna be out of my mind so anyways I'm glad I tried it I wanted to know how it was I am very luminous now, but in the beginning it wasn't that luminous at all. Um, and I just, I really don't like it. I don't think it sits well on my skin. It doesn't mesh well with my dryness. And it's just really weird because you would think a luminous foundation would be good on dry patches or dry skin. But that is not the case with this. So I am sad to say this is a big old thumbs down for me. I'm a little more harsh on it because I know the price is so high, so I'm trying to like take that into consideration. If this was from the drugstore, I wouldn't be so harsh on it, but it's just really not my cup of tea, and it just didn't work for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've had the same issue with this foundation. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this foundation, please tell me how you used it to make it work for you. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. I don't know. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I will see you next time. Bye!